Hi friends, it's Ruth from the Wilmette Public Library here with another nature activity. So today I thought we could go outside and gather up some supplies to make a nature puzzle. When I say puzzle, do you think about something that looks a little bit like this? Yeah, with these little pieces that are curved and jagged that fit together to make a picture. Yes, so that's what we're gonna do. But a nature puzzle is a little different. As opposed to using these cut out pieces of paper, we are going to use objects we find in nature and fit them together to make a shape. Let's go see what we can find. So here are some of the objects I found in my yard. I have some sticks, some rocks, some leaves, helicopters, clover flowers. I tried to grab a variety of things in different sizes and shapes. Next, we need to decide what shape we're going to make our puzzle. Can you think of any shapes that you like? There are so many to choose from, right? Sometimes when I can't decide, I like to draw out my options. So today I drew out all these different shapes on here that I could think of. So this triangle is pretty nice, right? And so is this circle. Oh, there's a heart. There's lots of choices. I even could even do something that's not an exact shape like this blob here. I think I know which one I'm going to do. Once you've decided, you want, to you want to draw out your shape big on a full piece of paper like this. So I chose the star and I drew it out with a black marker. This is going to be our puzzle board. The next step is to take all those pieces of nature that you gathered and start fitting them in to your puzzle board. What's fun about doing a nature puzzle is that there are so many different ways you can do it. You can arrange the pieces any way you like inside and each time you do it, it looks different. You could even take all those pieces from one shape and put them into another shape and see what you could create. And did you know that a great place to do a nature puzzle is the beach? There you can draw your shape in the sand and fill it in with whatever you find on the beach. Rocks or driftwood, maybe even seashells. And if you don't have a beach, you could try doing it in your sandbox. So there's lots of different ways to explore a nature puzzle. I hope you have fun creating one. Thank you for joining me today.